good everyone my name is graphics today we'll be looking at inscribing a circle in a triangle having a b as the base which is 89 millimeter and angle c a b is a seven and a half degree now what you do is you take your t square you move it and you draw a straight line A straight line this way now it said the base is what a b no way you have a triangle this way is a triangle like this right or let me put it here when you have a triangle this way a b is the base right then the top part here is c so we want to draw our a b and we say the a b is what 89 millimeter so I will take my meter rule, I will select a point, and I will call that point my point A, and I will measure 89 millimeter. So from 0 to 80 is 89 here, right, and I am going to thicken it. So this is my A what, my AB. Now. The next thing is, it's telling me angle CAB is a seven and a half degree. Now, if you look closely, you discover that on my CAB, there is an angle on top of it. So, the angle will fall on A. We're having something like this, CA, then there's an angle in front of it, B. So, the angle at A is what? It's a seven and a half degree. So I'll come to point A. I'm going to construct angle 67 and a half. So let's do that at point A. This is my point A here, right? So I'll measure 67 and a half. So with the help of my C square, which I've taught you earlier in my earlier video, you move. Let me show you what to do. This is C square. You move it to this point, and. Um, you draw your angle you move it here you draw a vertical line up like this can you see that then the next thing you do this is angle 90 now when I place it like this when it's standing like this this is 60 right so that is, is on my T square so this is 60 so at this point I'm going to measure 60 degree. So that's the same thing this way. So this is 90 here. And um, this is 60. Right? In between 90 and 60 is 30. So I'm going to bisect it to get my 15. So if you bisect 30, you have 15. So if I place it at this point here, I will draw an arc like this. Can you see that? I'll draw an arc. Let me enlarge it so you see very well. So I'm going to draw an arc like this. And I'll place my compass without adjusting my set my compass. I'll strike here. Take it to this point also. And I'll strike here. So I will now take my meter rule. And I'll pass it through the center where they meet. So this is where they meet. And I'll draw this. So if this is 60 and this is 90, in between them is 30. So if I have 30, now we have 15. Abi, this is 15 degree. So 60 plus 15 is what? 75 degrees. So automatically, this is 75 degree. Right? Let me show you. So automatically, this is what? 75. Because this is 60, 15. So 60 plus 15 is 75. 75 plus 15 will give me 90. So in between 75 and 60 is 15 degree also. So I'm going to bisect in between 75 and 60. So when I place it here, I'll strike an arc. I'll take to this point also. Just like, let me show you what I'm doing. So in between these two now, I'm talking about. So I can place it at this point that I mark here. I'll strike an arc. 
I'll take you to the next point here also. I'll strike another arc. So where they meet, they are meeting at this point here. That will give me half of 15, which is 7 and a half. So I'm going to draw this. So that is 7 and a half, right? So the next angle that I've drawn now is 7 and a half. So 7 and a half plus 60 will give me 67 and a half. Are we good? So if this is 60, this is 7 and a half, 75 and so on and so forth. So I've gotten my 7 and a half, so I will just place my compass at this point here. And I'll draw an arc from 67 and a half here. Like this, or I can reduce it. I'll make you understand that from here to this point is my 67 and a half. Right? So from this point here to this point here is what? 67 and a half. That is the angle there. Now it's not telling us that my C, if you see what I'm showing you here, it's telling us that the C, this point C here, is falling somewhere around A. So what will I do? I am going to, it's telling me AC is what? 76 millimeter. So this is A, and C falls somewhere around that to seven and a half. So I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to measure 76. So if I place it here, so from 1, from 0 to 70, this is 70 here, and this is 76 at this point here. So I'll place it. I'm going to mark on that 7 and a half, which is somewhere around there. Can you see that? So at this point here is that point, 76. So in doing that, I'll get my point C. So at this point here, this my 76 is what? Point C, just like what I did there, between A to this point here, C. So I'm going to join C and B. So I'm taking my line to join C and B. Like this. So that's my point C. And I'll take in this guy here too. To get my point C. Right? So I've got in my A, B, and what? And C. Now the question doesn't end there. It's telling us to draw our inscribing circle. The last time I did circumscribing circle, I said you bisect two of any of the three sides. So C, B is a side. A, C is a side, A, B is a side. So if I choose any of the two sides, if I bisect it, I will get the circumcircling circle. But now I want the inscribing circle. So the key word is you bisect two of any of the three angles. In terms of inscribing, you bisect the angle, two of any of the three. We have one angle here, we have another angle here, we have another angle here. So I will choose two of it. So if I take this angle here, let me zoom it down a little bit. If I take angle B here, I'll take my compass, I'll strike an arc this way. Can you see that? We we'll take with we'll add adjusting it, I'll place at this point where it strikes this line C B. I'll cut it this way. Right? I'll take it to where it strike line A B. I'll cut it this way too. So where it meets I'll draw a line that will pass through the center, through the center, so from here, I'll be having this, that's the first line I'm going to have. Now the next thing is, I should be able to bisect this angle too, or I'll just come up here, so I'll bisect this angle too. You notice I already have the point here, right? So I'll strike here, or I come down here. I place that point C here. I'll strike an arc like this. Can you see that? I'll strike an arc like this. 
So where they meet, I'll place it here, I'll cut, and I'll place it here also, and I'll cut. So at that point where they meet, I'll take my set square or my ruler and I'll drain the center point to that point C. So I'll draw it to just until to meet the other line here. So uh, where it meets the other line there, which is this, I'll use this point and draw my inscribing circle. So where it meets here, where the both of line, this line meets with this line here, I'll place my compass here and I'll draw my circle like this. So I'll take in it. This is my inscribing circle. All good. So thank you for watching. We'll meet in our next video.